Do we do we sell anything yet? Good. Teach me the purchase decision process. You got that? Hey, I'll give you a clue. The first thing is public recognition, eh? You knuckleheads. I should have cut you up with these knives. Apostrophe, yes. I don't know, uh, I don't know anything. Purchase decision. What? Oh, Jesus, I knew I should have been sober today. Oh my god, this guy is so awesome. Oh, I can't wait! <laughs> problem recognition? You talking about problem recognition? How about delay in decision making? Difficulty of selectivity? Time pressure? You think perceived risk of product performance and uncertainty, task avoidance, unpleasantness? That's ridiculous! I'm not a mind reader! A mind reader? You think that I think that you're a mind reader? Get out of here! What are you smirking at? Stop laughing! Your face! It makes me want to throw up! Stop it! I could puke on you right now! Your breath smells! You got that? The fact that it's in Chinese is irrelevant. What I'm trying to say is we've got boxes to sell. And we've got people. Attention, interest, decision, action. Always be closing. Always be closing. Always be closing. Now, contrary to what's on the board right here, there are five steps to the purchase decision process. Need recognition and problem awareness, information search, evaluation of alternatives, purchase and post-purchase evaluation. And you need to know all five. Gotcha. Nowadays, the art of selling has to reflect the shifting demands and expectations of the market. The recent developments in business, technology, and the internet have redefined the relationship between seller and customer. Little guy? Uh nah, that's your boss. Nah, nah, nah. You you were trying to tell me that your purchase decision process works. When you come down here and I'm up there and yeah. See his watch? You like this watch? Yeah. The purchase decision process says customers go through a five stage decision making process in any purchase. It has the salesperson evaluate the whole buying process to ensure a positive experience is had for the customer. The model is very useful when it comes to understanding any purchase that requires thought and deliberation. Don't snicker at me, fruitcake. Who is involved in the purchase decision process? You ask, Galansky? The decision maker. Person who makes the final purchase decision. I.E. You. Purchaser, number two, the person who pays for the product offering. Consumer, person who uses, cons consumes the product offering. Influencer, people who influence the decision maker. And sellers, you jackasses. People, organization, selling the offer. I'm letting our correspondent handling these things. Mr. Bradolf Pittler will be on my desk with Steven Vandervat tomorrow. That's right, check these out, Sandusky. What makes you think you can find her in America, you punks? The question is... Dibba. The question is, do I have a god complex? Well, let me tell you this. Do you understand the power that could be unleashed with a consumer decision process? We have need recognition caused by a disproportion between actual and desired state. The search for information, once a consumer recognizes a need for different options and alternatives that can satisfy their need. 
pre-purchase evaluation or the evaluation of alternatives. After acquiring, the consumer chooses and compares the different alternatives that may satisfy their need. Well, I guess what I'm trying to say to you, Colonel Sanders, is that your Kentucky chicken isn't the fried freshest. That's not really relevant. What I'm trying to say is I can help you make your sales force better. I can help your salespeople understand the purchase decision process. And I know it looks like I'm not talking right now, but I'm talking right to you and to you and to you, Zimbabwe. <laughs> That's right. You. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be showing you and your associates a chart of how this whole process works. It's uh, it's pretty good stuff, and I'd like to say that I am not wearing any underwear right now. If you've got a problem with that, I've got a problem with you, and we can step outside. And I am the boss. So what influences the purchase decision process? Well, we have four things. The first one, individual differences. That's right, personality. You like, you like to buy things in a certain way. Your lifestyle. Are you married, single? Are you a parent, a couple? Valuations, motivation, resources, time, money. Are you smart? We also have the social environment. Number two, culture. The interpersonal influences, like how do you feel when you identify an influence making culture? What about number three, product market environment, complexity of product offering, the risk involved in the purchase, the number of available alternatives, the difference between quality, price, etc. across alternatives, the ease of acquiring information, the point of purchase, stimuli. Remember the risk involved in the purchase, physical, financial, social, what are the consequences, what's the probability you'll